We identified some critical success factors for the residential real estate market in the Fargo-Moorhead area. A couple of the more important ones are excellent customer service and having expertly trained real estate agents. A couple of the less important ones are charging a competitive amount of commission and the amount of money spent on advertising the homes they are selling. In the middle come the legal knowledge involved in selling homes and the knowledge of the area and ability to match customers with the homes they would be interested in. We analyzed a couple firms in the area based on these critical success factors. One is Hatch Realty. We identified multiple strengths and weaknesses for these firms, but for Hatch Realty, the relevant strengths that relate back to our critical success factors are their personal relationships with customers, that they invest heavily in advertising their homes, and that they have expertly trained real estate agents. All of the weaknesses we found for them are related to the critical success factors. So this includes their large size that could make them unapproachable to potential clients, that their real estate agents can be overly persistent in trying to sell homes, and with that they send many automated emails to their clients, including the homes they would not be interested in. They also have a large volume of realtors, which can cause differentiation in service. So some clients might be less satisfied than others. They're also very inflexible regarding their payment plans, and they really try to urge their clients to use one bank, um, and it would be better to allow their clients to have more of a choice than that. So with these, um, strength that is unique to Has Realty in compared to their competitors is their expertly trained agents, and a unique weakness is their inflexibility regarding payment options. We also analyzed Hatch's competitor, Parco. So some of their relevant strengths are that they're a smaller company, which allows for more personal interaction, and that they have been in the area for a long time, which allows them to really match their clients with homes and areas that they would enjoy. Some of their relevant weaknesses are that they have poorly trained realtors, and sometimes these realtors produce unprofessional documents that have typos and grammatical errors. They also only offer small time frames for open houses, which can increase the difficulty of selling a home and be really inconvenient for clients. They also spend less on advertising than some of their competitors. So a unique strength compared to their competitors for Parco is the amount of time they have been in the area and their ability to match clients with homes. And a unique weakness is the amount spent on advertising. So this table shows how Hatch and Parco performed related to the critical success factors. Hatch did better compared to most of them, um, especially with their expertly trained real estate agents. But Parco did do better with knowledge of the area and their ability to match their clients to areas and homes they would be interested in. And they charge a comparable amount for commissions. So their accomplishments reflect how well they perform related to the critical success factors. So Hatch was voted the Fargo-Moorhead area's best real estate company in 2017. And in the same year, Parco was voted the third best real estate company. Hatch also was voted to have the best real estate agent from 2013 to 2016. And that is the guy who started Hatch Realty. And they were also ranked on Inc.com list of the 5,000 fastest growing companies in the nation with sales of 200,000 and sales growth of 119,000 in 2017. On the other hand, you can see that Parco's knowledge of the area and that they have been operating for 60 years and have been successful for those 60 years and that 80% of their business does come from return clients and from community activity.